Uh, a win, a win over LSU for the program and for um, just for us as a program, I think would mean a big thing because it would be our first win over them in the conference, and that's one of the only teams in the conference that we haven't beaten yet. And it's our rivalry game; it's in our rivalry week, and especially for this season to get the ninth win this season, to have a chance to have double-digit wins this season would be big time for us and a huge step for our program. How would you rate your performance against Vanderbilt last weekend? You know, I thought I thought I played a, a pretty well game, and uh, especially after coming off the bench for three weeks, and you know, just having to know that week that I'm the starter and have to prepare for that. But you know, I prepare the same way every week. But I thought we played pretty well as an offense. I was told that we put up the most points, or not the most points, but the most yards against Vanderbilt the entire year, and they're a pretty stout defense in a lot of different categories, especially red zone and uh, goal line defense. So I thought I played pretty well. You know, completion percentage could have been higher, but. I thought as far as uh, third down conversions and moving the ball up and down the field, we did very well as an offense in total. Uh, what, what did you go through at Ole Miss, and, and what, what happened the next three weeks? You know, it was just a complete offensive struggle at Ole Miss. And obviously that starts with me as a quarterback. I need to produce, and a lot of guys look to me to produce. And that game, it was just a complete offensive struggle, and they shut us down. And, you know, things like that are going to happen no matter where you are in your football career and if you're in the NFL you see it happened to Peyton Manning a couple weeks ago and stuff like that so it's going to happen and then the next couple weeks obviously were hard for me having to having to sit and watch someone else play you know obviously I'm going to support him as much as possible because that's what I'd want him to do if I was in there but you know, everyone wants to be on the field especially me I've been a leader the whole offseason been a leader throughout the entire season you know it sucks having to sit on the bench and watch you guys go out there without you. How is your shoulder? There's been a lot of talk about if you were healthy or not. Yeah, I mean, my shoulder wasn't 100% during that time, especially in the Ole Miss game coming, after, coming out after, uh, I think it was an AC sprain on my shoulder, you know, and I told, I, I told them I was good enough to play. And obviously it wasn't 100%, but I wanted to be there for my team. I was their quarterback the entire year. I wasn't going to let them go into a hostile environment without me, you know, and obviously it wasn't 100% that game, but... As of now, my shoulder is perfectly fine. I'm really good. Was that going back? Sorry, was that going back to Mississippi State? What game did you suffer the AC sprain? In the Alabama game. The Alabama. Yeah. How close were you to 100% though playing against Ole Miss? I mean, it's just like I said earlier. Like I said right a second ago, I wasn't 100%. But. But you were close enough to play, I guess. Yeah. Okay. You learned about yourself when you weren't playing for starting. Did you learn anything new? You know, I learned probably. Not about myself, but about the people around me who were really there for me, you know, who was going to be my close friends, who were going to be the people that helped me, and who were going to, people, going to be the people that decided, oh, he's not playing, you know, I'm just going to go and talk to someone else. You know, I'm talking about just like who's really going to be there for you and, and who's going to support you through no matter what. And it was all the people that I thought were going to be, you know, my family, my friends, my girlfriend, and, and uh, Coach Bev, you know, he's always there for me. And, you know, it's just you learn a lot about the people around you when you're in a struggle. And about about yourself too, you know. I learned a lot about myself too, but mostly about the people around me. How much you, you mentioned the offensive struggles at Ole Miss? Do you think it was more that, or was it more the fact that you were a little injured that you know kind of factored into the last you know three weeks where you weren't starting? Is that how you pronounce that? Can you like repeat the question? What you're trying to ask? Uh, yeah. Where, do you do you feel like it was the offensive struggles versus Ole Miss, or the fact that your shoulder wasn't 100 percent? Was that the main? The, which one was the main factor into not getting to start the three weeks? You know, um, I'm not sure what it was, to be honest with you. I couldn't tell you. It's a coach's decision, and you got to respect the coach's decision to go with the guy that he feels is the most prepared and the most ready to play that next week. So it could be a number of things, but, you know, what I always try to do is no matter what position I'm in, I'm going to prepare like I'm going to be the starter. I'm going to prepare like I have to win the game. I have to go in and win the game, you know what I'm saying? And, and um I just got to respect the coach's decision and what the, the way they went and just be ready to go in whenever I can. Well, did you see all the um, reports, the reports that you were considering transferring or people speculating that you would do so? And is that, was that ever an option? No. No, it's the middle of the season. What did you do in practice, do you feel, to earn the starting jo job? What did you do last week? What kind of clicked for you, do you feel? I mean, I didn't feel like I did anything different in practice. It's like I've been telling you guys forever. I'm the same exact person no matter what the situation is and no matter what's going on. And what's, whatever happens in my life, I'm going to be the same exact person on the field as I always am. And, and maybe I got a little more confidence back or something like that. But I would say that, I mean, I've been the same person this whole year. And obviously people are going to struggle 
you play teams like Alabama and Ole Miss, some of the best defenses in the entire country, Alabama is probably the closest thing you're going to get to playing an NFL team on defense, that is. So you're going to struggle, and I don't, like the, I don't like to let that thing affect me, and especially because I want to be there for my teammates and I want to play as best as I can for my teammates. So I'm not going to let that affect me into the next week. Did you ever consider taking yourself out of the Ole Miss game? Like how much was the really bothered? Um, I wouldn't say I ever considered taking myself out of the game because it bothered me a lot more in the Alabama game than it did in the Ole Miss game. And that game, I did not want to get taken out. That was my game. I want to be there for my teammates. And I had prepared the entire week with my teammates. I was the most prepared, and I want to be in that game and help us win that game. So, you know, I never, I don't think in my entire life I'll ever think about taking myself out of the game for an injury unless there's a bone sticking out of me. <laughs> What about if you've got a concussion and something else you do? Okay, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> Looking at LSU, what have you guys seen so far from any tape that you've watched? Um, and kind of, I guess, what's what's the plan offensively to uh, put some more points on the board and maybe, you know, not rely so much on field goals as you all did against Vanderbilt? Uh, yeah, I mean, that's something I, I think we have struggled with a lot during the season is scoring in the red zone and scoring when we get down into the, the scores on goal line area. and. You know, that's just a lot of scheme during the week. You know, we have a lot. We had a lot of good scheme last week. We just caught, got caught in some bad situations where we thought they were going to do something, and then they checked into something else. And like I said, Vanderbilt was a very good team in that area, and they know what to do against teams when they get down there. You know, they move. They let the. Uh, they let us move the ball up and down the field on them a lot. But once we get down there, they really dig down, kind of like our defense. But you know, this week, you're going to see a lot of similarities from Vanderbilt to um, LSU and some similarities to uh, Alabama because that's where their defensive coordinator is from. So you're going to see a lot of man coverage, you know, and they have a lot of real athletes on their team, but so do we. So I think we're going to be able to win. Our team is very confident right now. Our offense is very confident right now, so I think we'll be good. Speaking more of that LSU defense, I know Chavis, Coach Chavis is not there anymore, obviously. I'm not sure how much the defense is the same compared to how it was when he was there, but is there one of those things this week where you or Coach Babadol can go to, hey, Coach Chavis, what, how do we attack this LSU defense? Do you give us, give us some hints to, to figure that out? Yeah, and I know that's what Coach Babadol does every week. He goes and talks to Coach Chavis and meets with him through the week on no matter what team we play because Coach Chavis knows defense and he can help him in any way possible. And this year, uh, I think LSU is a much different defense than they were last year. Um, I think they changed a lot of things, just uh, how they line up to formations and stuff like that. But obviously, he's going to be a huge help. Um, he knows their players. He knows their personnel the best out of anyone could because he was their main coach. So he's going to be able to give us some tendencies and stuff like that. But as far as scheme goes, I think they run a much different defense than they did last year.